GAT Bill 2013 was tabled in Parliament this afternoon, and with it came fears of price hikes of basic commodities. Now, what effect will it have on the ordinary Mwananchi and their budgets if it is passed into law? Wilkis Tanyabo went shopping to find out how the proposed 16% value-added tax is likely to affect you and me if it sails through. The Kenyan consumer often marks the end of the month with a trip to the supermarket to purchase the very basic of items, starting off at the food section. First into the basket goes maize flour for the all-important staple, ugali. Wheat flour, milk, rice and bread will follow in short order. In the past, a thousand shillings would have been enough to secure the very basic of commodities. Now it only covers a few food items, and soon the consumer may have to decide just which are the most important. This owing to the VAT bill that was tabled in Parliament on Tuesday. If it sails through, it means basic items, including maize and wheat flour and other processed foodstuffs, will now attract a 16% VAT charge. This would mean that a consumer who went to a supermarket with a thousand shillings and just these seven items on their shopping list would then have to dig deeper into his or her pocket, almost 150 shillings deeper to be exact. And that's not all. The VAT bill proposes, among other things, to slap a 16% tax on processed items which include rice, wheat flour and maize flour. This essentially driving the cost of Ugali further and further out of the ordinary Kenyan street. This is one of many spots across the city that caters for consumers who want to have a meal without breaking the bank. A plate of meat stew with a serving of chapati, rice or ugali costs 150 shillings. But with the prices of these staples set to rise, the traders have their eyes on the bottom line. <laughs> Other items to be affected if the VAT bill becomes low include agricultural inputs such as fertilizer and seeds and for the first time sanitary towels could also attract the tax. And this is why as lawmakers retired to parliament to debate the matter, Kenyans took to the streets to protest a move that could put more and more items further and further out of their reach. Wilkis Denabwa, KTN, Nairobi.